Hello, beautiful boy. After all that, I understand everything. Everything makes so much more sense now. Why they called in a young male leopard, why they thought it was Hosanna. Of course, Tumba's been wandering around this area. And there he is, waiting patiently. He responded to his mom's calls. Oh, he's so gorgeous. He is such a beautiful leopard. He responded to his mom's calls, but she'd already left. And now he's sitting, looking longingly off in the distance, to, off to where she walked. Earlier on, I was busy looking down at the tracks on the ground, going, there's Tundi's tracks, there's a male's tracks. And he walked on top of, he obviously smelt her where she'd walked, and he followed her tracks, and then he got to here where she was calling, which is exactly where we were with Tundi when we first started. And now he just looks sad, because mom's gone, and now he just has to wait some more. The cub with the big ears and the big paws, although he's grown into them considerably since I first made that observation. I love his eyes, though. He really does have the most stunning eyes. Little thing, where's your mum? So, this must have been the most confusing uh, leopard sighting for any of our new viewers. This must have been utterly bizarre, because first we were talking about Hosanna, then Tundi. Let's just keep it simple. The leopard you saw earlier was Tundi. This is her cub. He was born in late July or early August last year. And he is, I think about July last year, actually. And he's gorgeous. His name is Tumba. If you just wait. If, perfect. I'll move forward for you a little bit. No problem. What's there? He's looking not at us and not at the other vehicle, but in the distance, and I think he's looking for mum. I'm just going to shift forward ever so slightly, Ferg. Our oh, poor battered vehicle. Shame, Rusty. I really put you through hell today. There we go. First time I ever saw this leopard was when he was racing away from that baboon troop that attacked him and his sibling. And unfortunately his sibling, not in that baboon attack, but his sibling didn't make it. He or she, I think it was a she actually, was killed by the sticks a couple of months ago. Which is what happens with lions and leopard cubs. It's just, there's a certain inevitability to that. Oh, he's gorgeous. And Rebecca, good morning. You want to know if he is in the tree for protection until Tundi comes back? Could be. It could be that he feels safer up there. He could also be up the tree because it gives him a nice high vantage point so he can see his mum if she comes. And it might also just be a really comfortable spot where he can sleep safely. I've seen, if I'm completely honest, I've seen more leopards sleeping on the ground than I have seen leopards sleeping in trees if I had to count up all my sightings, but especially on a warm morning, it's the perfect place to be. There's a bit of shade, there's a bit more of a breeze than there is on the ground. So it could be that he feels safer up there. It could just be that that's where he wanted to be while he waits for mum. I love those feet. I'm sure many of you out there have had dogs from puppies and you know what their paws are like. Tumba's paws have always been like that. Absolutely massive. Satya Jid, I hope I got your name right. You want to know what Tumba means? It basically means boulder or, or, or rock. It's um, one of the names that was put forward by the Chitwa guides that, because of course, tum Tumba was denned under one of the, the lodge rooms. So it was very much within their, their rights to name him. And they put forward three suggestions. One was Tumba. I cannot remember the other two now. Tumba, there was one that meant sorrow or, or solitude or something like that. And we're not even going to think about Bigglesworth. Either way, Tumba was what was chosen for him. And I think it's a very appropriate name. And I actually think he's going to be huge, you know. I really do. I think he's going to be as big as his uncle, Hosanna, which is a strange 
sentence to say. It does get very confusing with leopard families because Tundi's, Tumba's father is most likely also Hosanna's father. Tundi is Hosanna's older sister, making Hosanna Tumba's uncle, but it would also make him his half-brother because they share the same father. Oh, it gets confusing. Let's just leave it at that, shall we? Because we're not even going to go into the connection between Tandi Karula and Tandi and Shadow's father. It gets very confusing. Let's just look at the beautiful leopard, and he is beautiful. All right, we've had a truly special morning. Tristan has had some luck as well from his side and found you something large and grey.